another boss conversations how you doing happy thursday good people good good people welcome 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 today we are talking to miss mila styles um so it's got all kind of stuff going on so we're going to talk about the boss hat that she wears and what she has going on so i'm waiting on her to chime in once i get my boss in here you guys know we are up and going okay so um you know i usually come in listening to khalees bossy because i i love that song and because i'm bossy okay but I'm going to play something a little bit different today. I'm going to play a little bit of Mila's music. Hey. Welcome. False Conversations. Another night. We up and going. Hey, wait on my boss, Miss Mila Styles, aka Mila Music, to come on in so we could talk to her about all the boss shit she got going on. Can you hear me? Hey, I can hear you now. Is that my song playing? You playing my song? It's so low. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Hey. Yes, yes. I was hey, just saying. So low, I can barely hear you. Don't oh, make this one kick in. See, sometimes this stuff works with my earbuds. Sometimes it don't. I can hear the but music. But how are you? But I can't hear you. Now you can. Uh. Are we li are we live live? But I you can I, hear me good. I can't hear you at all. You heard me at first. It's super low, and I like the hat, but <laughs> I can't hear oh, you. I don't know what be going on with the uh, sounds on these. Too good. Huh? Can you hear me now? A little bit. Turn it up. <laughs> I can't turn it up. My phone is all the way on high. Hey, Posh. Well, I, well, I'm going to bring it closer. You have an earbud? Huh? Do you have an earbud? Not a pick. Should I? The earpiece? Yeah. Put the earpiece you in? If you can't hear me, like, I hear you loud. I cannot hear you. It's like. Bad. Is it mass? Hey, Cherie, what's up, Posh? Do you guys hear me okay? Cherie and Crystal, y'all hear me okay? Hold on. Always be something. If it ain't the volume, we can't connect. But you know what? We always gonna get it done, though. Can y'all hear me okay? I got you now. Good, good, good. We in there? We in there. I like the, let me see the sweater. Let me see the sweater. Plan and grind, plan and grind. That's all grind. we do. <laughs> well, good evening. You look beautiful tonight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, another blind bomb. Show. Wait, you... Janae, it's like a back, it's like a back thing. Like I hear you, and then it's like a delay. I know. It's a delay on your side. 
Now we was we was just on live and it was no delay. So now we got a delay. Now we got a delay. All right, she out and coming back in. Y'all don't don't look at my leggings because let me tell you something. I almost rolled up with some panties on because I ain't even feel like putting on no pants. But you know what I'm saying? It's all good. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Another Boss Conversation. Happy Thursday. Happy snow day for all of us in Illinois and Indiana because it's cold as hell, you know? All right. Um, Lord, I hope she can get back in. I hope you can get back in, Mila. You got your request. I can't. Um... It's always something. It's always something. Uh, Mila, Mila, Mila. There you go. There you go. Is that we better? on the popping. That was the devil trying to stop my shine. Trying to stop your shine. He always trying to stop somebody's shine, okay? Between the Facebook devils and the real devils. Oh. Oh. <laughs> always something. Well, again, all of you all that are chiming in, good evening. Welcome to another Boss Conversation. We going live now with Miss Mila Styles, a.k.a. Mila Music. And we're going to talk about all the boss hats that this queen wears because she wears quite quite a few boss hats. I'm so um, proud of you for being able to stabilize with all those hats that you wear. So, um, sis, you ready to get this rolling? Let's get it popping. Let's get it popping in. All right. <laughs> so let the people know what's your name and on your entrepreneur status, what are your businesses or your business or what, what do you do as far as an entrepreneur? Okay, so my name is Mila Styles, M-E-L-A-H Styles. And far as business entrepreneur wise, I have a, multi, a motivational hoodie line it says praying and grinding. This is my top seller. I've been selling this brand since 2017. It's trademarked. And I have other hoodies on my website, milastyles.com slash shop tab. I just dropped a new one, it says hustle with patience. Um I have one that says 24-7 Hustler. So mine's is all about grinding. My motivational hoodie line is all about just uplifting, working, working by its knee every day. Um, and then slash that, uh, I also do fashion styling. So like I'm a stylist. I, I've i been doing that since 2017. So the hoodie line came like, I call it sleep money. So it was like, basically, I'm going to have like something that I can just make an income while I'm sleep, wake up to some orders. So that's kind of how it started in 2017. So fashion styling slash motivational hoodie line. But the praying and grinding kind of just took off recently um, in 2020. Like I had been doing it since 2017, but it really took off in 2020. Mm, can you adjust your camera? Bring it up. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Get you in the camera. Good, good. Okay, so that we have for one, you are a stylist, a fashion stylist. And I then you stand. have right, and you still have and you also have your own hoodie line, a motivational hoodie line. But isn't there something else that you do? Music. I do music. <laughs> I ra I, I'm a rapper. I really am good at it. So I write anything like creative wise. So music, I have my own music, independent artists, which is basically entrepreneurship as well, because you have to keep your eyes on the income that's coming in and what's coming out, uh, makeup shows. So it's definitely, uh, you have to watch the money. So that, that's a part of entrepreneurship. So I do do music. That's my first love and passion. Um, and I am a rap artist, uh, just creating concepts. So I'm, I do all of that. Thank wow. you. Because <laughs> so of what? You, you are dope. You are dope. You are dope <laughs> since the 90s, okay? So okay. you've been, you started your own, your entrepreneur journey y'all lost for words so quick in 2017 
No, I really started in 20, probably like 2013. My first business was a marketing branded business uh, called Delicate Beast. So I would say, and it, was, it wasn't a lot of small businesses then. Right, right. I would take a black owned business, say you got your own business, you're black owned, but you're too busy to do your bio. You're too busy to do the social media. This one, Instagram kind of really first came on the scene. You're too busy doing all the other stuff to run a business. I will come in and do the branding, help you with your social media marketing, talk to you and record you telling me about your bio. And then I would type it up, give it to you. And all you had to do was send it to your web designer. So just basically, I was there for the, the, the boss. That was my business. That was my first business. Okay. Um, Tanise, yeah, you, you chimed in. She had just said her website. Uh, Mimi, go ahead and drop your website again for her. We're going to ask a couple times. But yeah, that's the fine. website uh, for the t-shirt again. I mean, for the hoodie. M M E L A H M. I'm a, can I type it in real quick? Yeah, type it in real quick. Okay, hold on. Yeah, and I love it, praying and grinding, because, I mean, that's what we have to do every day, right? We got to pray. <laughs> And you gotta, yeah, grind. gotta grind. Faithful that works is there. And I came up with this concept. I was driving Uber in 2017. Come and on, I was come on. and I was working on my business. And I was working, I was driving Uber full time. I had quit my job to go after my dream. I did all that. <laughs> I quit my job like Jerry Maguire. And uh, I was driving Uber full time. Milastyles.com slash shop. And I, that's how I came up with praying and grinding because I was, I treated my Uber job like uh, uh, five, five a.m. I'm out by the end of the day. I didn't have, I didn't made two fifty. End of the week, I didn't made fifteen hundred. I okay. messed up my car. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Okay, because at the same, we was out there hustling on it together. I remember. So yeah, that's something. Now. <laughs> You are really into fashion. You are very fashionable. <laughs> you wear so many hats, sis. You are very fashionable. I mean, you be from head to toe, coordinated like the man with the mushrooms in his. Not, you know, not, not that down. coordinated. Now, you calm down. Now, bring it down. Bring it down. You do. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Bring so it down. You, so, I'm trying to ask you when did you get into fashion? When did you know you had a thing for fashion? Like that you uh, put stuff together? I knew that growing up. I grew up in the 80s. I was an eight born in the 80s, crack baby. Okay? So we was, when my brother was drug dealers wearing towel coats, honey, I'm from the west side of Chicago, okay? We was wearing leather pants on the front, honey, and jeans in the back. <laughs> One jogging suits, pellies. <laughs> so that's where it all, like, looking at the drug dealers and the drug dealer girlfriends. <laughs> Okay, so that's how you got on to it. <laughs> now, when you when you did decide to quit your job and to go at your hustle full time as an entrepreneur, was that scary? Yeah, it was scary. It was scary. Okay. Uh, at the time, I I had some assistance. I had somebody that believed in me. Thank you. But I. I didn't know what I was doing. I really wanted to do my music, but at the time I wasn't confident enough. So I was like, I could do fashion because I know this, I could do this back of my hand. I would cut up material and put it on a cardboard and blindfold myself and touch the fabric so I can know which is which. I went to New York Fashion Week, Help Style, Nene Leaks. I, uh, in 20, this was in 2017. I kind of just, did my website had a website lunch party like i did my own videos concepts like i just did everything we spent a lot of money on on my vision and my dream uh found a photographer that wasn't the right photographer had to find another one that's money so when you going after them dreams you have a budget but things can happen <laughs> <laughs> but how important is it to even have a budget when you're going after these dreams? It's very important to have a budget, even if you. I didn't go to the bank. My business, my Mila Styles, with my fashion, my set, my that's my second business. My first business was just a website, seven hundred dollars, putting everything up. I'm gonna say I spent about five grand. Twenty seventeen, I spent about almost. 
twenty thousand dollars. Wow. Of my own money. Of and me and my at the time my my spouse, yeah, we ran it up. And I didn't okay. go, I didn't want no PPPs. Okay, it was just hard work. I don't want to do nothing else but my business. They came out together. When you're renting a place to have the launch, you can't go small. When you, I feel like you can't go small in launching. Right, right. Because right. this is yourself. This is me, though. I, this is my business. I'm going to go all in. I have a lunch party for the website. How am right. I going to get people in? How am I going to get people to sign up? How am I going to get people in? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a dessert. It just can't be at a spot. We're going to have it at the best spot I can have it at. We're going to have our d'oeuvres. We're going to have Mila style signature drink. We're going to have a dessert table. We're going to have a video walker for that. I got the red carpet there. You taking pictures. You gonna po You look so good in front of my backdrop for my biz. You're going to tag me because you got it's the marketing. Mm -hmm. So with yeah. any business, you got to market. You can't say, oh, I'm tired of posting this. You got to do the social media marketing and you still got to get out there to do the whole marketing. Right, right. So with a budget, you put everything in place. I need a, whatever the business is. I'm doing fashion, so I'm going to need some photo shoots. If you're doing, if you're a chef, you and you know this, my menu is set. You're gonna have to cook that stuff correctly and properly, and decorate it, and then get a photographer to come and take them pictures. And, and you got on your chef stuff, and you're gonna hold that plate, and so you gotta pay for that. Why would you just right. get a chef shirt when you could just pay a little extra money and have your name right here because this is your business. And you and once you start, you the marketing has to, it, everything has to go and coincide. And True. so that's that is so it's important to have a budget for marketing. It's important to have a budget for photos. I mean, I went through two web developers. The first okay. one, she she was in New York. She charged me a thousand dollars for the MilaStyles.com website. I'm I'm a person that's real corporate, so I'm. Where you at? What's the timeline? Don't just give somebody your business because you think they care about their brand and you're not checking on them about your business because you are on the budget and the time schedule. Right. So right. I'm on her, but like pockets, she, <laughs> oh, just, just forget the thousand. Go ahead, baby. You can have it. I'm going to go over here. She only going to charge me 800. Now, I didn't lost the rack. I done lost the whole thousand and my website not done, but I got to go to somebody else to get it done properly and correct because I like the way this person over here communicates. I like the way she checks back with me. I like the way she, uh, that's my best friend watching. Hey, best friend. I like the way she, uh, talks and lets me know, Hey, I'm done with this. This just got done. That makes me sleep good at night when I know I just paid you an $800 and you're really which makes you know what i'm saying so it's very important that you know who out you're going to use before you spend the money which i didn't, i'm doing this by myself now so right. i can tell you all the mistakes right so you you learned your lessons as you i learned my lesson that's how you get to the how you spend 20 because you because a lot of mishaps because i had a photographer who charged me this much and was supposed to do this these different videos and then i had a video videographer so i'm doing a video and i'm doing a photo shoot at the same time and the and the, and the person whose studio it is he got chairs everywhere he didn't do his part so guess what i gotta do another photo shoot mm. i gotta do another video shoot right so that means rent another place and you 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 can't tell that photographer and that videographer like, hey, you know, since this ain't working out, can we just reschedule? Reschedule mean repay, repay, because it's not their fault that that man didn't do his part. Yeah, and even so, if you yeah. get loan from the bank, or it's your hard earned money that you're putting to the side, you still gotta have a budget, and you gotta. I say, put in your budget, mess up, mess up money. <laughs>
mess up my, I mean, but that's real. That's real talk because when when they do your menu things going wrong. When they do no when they do your menu and they don't spell your name right, but you got fit five hundred menus. You can't say I'm very passionate. You can't say Oh, we gonna put the matter scratch the A off. Now you look unprofessional and you look I don't I don't wanna no. You gotta reprint all five hundred because they missed the A. <laughs> look. Girl, you talk about mess up money, and you are so correct because your girl here, because you know I move like you move. I mean, we we both kind of got this control thing. It's just kind of like a little control thing, you know. I'm very and we definitely want to be you. in control over all of our stuff. So your girl orders um, you know, I made, I got my logo, I got all the stuff for boss conversations, and I ordered some cards. Right, I ordered a thousand cards. And misspelled one word on it, and I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it until the cards came to me, and I was like, "What? How could I? How could I spell boss wrong? I don't even know how I missed the other S." But again, you gotta have some f up money, you know, because things will happen. And that was just a lesson to me because I was moving too fast. I was doing too much you know and i really should have had somebody else looking over you know what i'm saying so it is important you guys yeah definitely had that f up money and know that <laughs> things things can go wrong and and certain things when they go wrong it ain't nothing you can do about it but just redo it and do it over so when it comes to fashion is there anybody like that you look up to fashion wise anybody who's like your inspiration I think like now I like uh, his name is Colin. Um, Colin, he styles uh, Cardi B a lot, uh, Normandy, and then my ultimate favorite person is Mary J. Blige. Like that's just my that's just gonna she gonna all oh, styling, don't she? That's my baby. <laughs> Look like I know her. She my big sister. If I she my big sister in my head. But like just her all since growing up, I was 13, 14 when she first came on the scene. So like I always just hands down, like when it come to just fly, just we just fly. Right. <laughs> TJ, it. I see your comment about the um website designer. Thank you so much for dropping that, bro. Because I personally will chime in with him. I thank you for that. I know quite a few people who need websites right now. So I'm going to Yeah, check I actually him need out. another one for my music. Because I already have Mila Styles. So I need to add the, the music tab. Right. So that's good. See, that's what Boss Conversations are so all that's about. So con definitely connect with, with me. the people who we need. Yeah, so all definitely right. connect with me on that. And um, let's work. And I'm very uh, controlling when it comes to my <laughs> brand. So I'm going to be on your neck like tonsils. So, <laughs> now, you 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 had Delicate <laughs> delicate Beast. And then... Um, it transitioned over. It transitioned over into fashion and style. Well, it, Delicate, Beast was, Delicate Beast was marketing and music. Right. And um, started I just... fashion. Yeah, it turned to, to the Mila Styles, Mila Styles, just Mila Styles. Just everything me because I had this. I have a vision. I always had the vision. It was always gonna be just more than just one thing. Okay, so what? So made I was doing a blog. I mean, I was doing a blog. I had a blog. I, I was on. I was doing it like to the fullest extent. And then you know, life. When you're an entrepreneur and you and life happens, and you're a mom, and at the time a wife and sickness comes and and you still trying to run this business and you're not feeling like you need to run this business and you just kind of get well put it on the way you i ain't got time for that ain't no wayside right because <laughs> if i put it to the side one day two day three day end up being a week a month you know and you gotta get you gotta it's just that praying and ground and just keep trying to have the momentum and it gets rough it gets rough for real. So what made you then go into the motivational hoodie line? Like, what birthed that? What sparked that? Oh, drive an Uber, just getting tired of driving Uber. Because mm. I quit so my job. Like, I'm, a, I'm, a, like I'm a, yeah, I got a bachelor's. Yeah, I got a bachelor's. I'm a marketing. Just off top, 
I'm a marketing creative person. So I know how to market, come up with stuff, strategize. Like that's what I'm good at. Went to school for it. But I uh, ended up driving Uber and I'm just praying and grind. That's what I was doing, praying and grind. I'm praying while I'm in driving Uber, I'm praying, God, praying that my other business take off, but I'm also praying that I get rides so I can be done for the day. <laughs> right. And rides that are not three dollars. Okay. Yeah. Trying to get them long off. Okay. Long right. rides on the rates, big tips, so I can be done because I gotta go. So it was just started with Praying and grinding just started with really just, I'm grinding. I'm praying. I'm on the flow. I'm trying. So are you looking to expand? Um, now you have the motivational hoodies, and you started off with praying and grinding. Now you have added different quotes and different things. Are you looking to expand your brand as far as clothing-wise? I would, I would love to. I would love to. Um, but again, when you're a one woman team, sometimes you get it on the back end, but that front end sometimes can be a little bit uh, cost. And there's some things, you know, like I had t-shirts, I got t-shirt crop tops and stuff on the website, but my hoodies, you know, do very well. Okay. And so sometimes expanding is why wouldn't you want to expand what do you mean expanding is expanding is great when you have that manpower to span because right now my biggest state that i sell hoodies in is old sacramento california the bay area that's where most of my sales come from really all, all day wow. I just sold some print grind. I sold like 20 print and grind and pink hoodies. These this lady, she um had breast cancer and they gave her a party and she found me on because you know the WWW stand for World Wide Web. And she was looking for a motivational hoodies. And I didn't know that when the Google, my Google, my my website came up. Mm. And so I put the prayer with the breast cancer, breast cancer bow in the middle. So it was praying breast cancer symbol and grinding. And um, they ordered 12 hoodies, Bay Area. Some people take pictures, some people don't. I used to care about all that stuff again as an entrepreneur. You don't have to post every time you go into the mailbox because Macy's don't. Right, right, right. I don't right. have to show my sales. I'm a small business owner I'm doing it. I don't do pop-ups because I don't have to. I'm not paying that. I'm, okay. I got a website. I got a brand. I got a following. And when you have certain things that you've already put in the work to, I'm not saying nothing against those things. But that's not the money that I want to spend. I'd rather go get, buy more product than a pay. I rather pro I don't have to. I can promote it online. It's so many other things that you can do as an entrepreneur, especially when you do have a clothing line. Um, I don't, I don't have the manpower to expand, but I'm definitely not against expanding because once I expand, it'll be jogging suits. It'll be. I want to actually do caps. Okay. All yeah. right. So let's transition over a little bit to music. How long have you been doing music? How long have you been? rapping and writing oh since mc light since since easy e when they did we all in the same gang since <laughs> money love but like i actually start pursuing it pursuing it i'm gonna say like when i was 19 like going back and forth to new york battle rapping i started battle rapping in, in different clubs in chicago like one of them which is actually a condo now but the cotton club on 22nd in michigan and so i would fly back and forth to new york trying to get it trying to get deals but back then it was hard it was like there was no social media there was no okay i just did a song and i could put it up myself like you had to actually record stand in front of a record company and it's just so much footwork um so but also at the same time it was more open mics it was more uh where you can act where they were artists platforms where you can actually express yourself and then i 
Then I did gospel rap right for a minute, and then I had kids. I got married at a young age. So I kind of just, I wasn't confident it, um, enough. Um, and then I guess just moving forward, I just started back, like, to the world. Because I'll put stuff up sometimes on my page, but, like, really going to the studio. I'm doing videos. I'm, 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 I ain't no stopping me now. It's, right. it's going crazy now. So I just, you, sometimes you reach a point, especially as an entrepreneur, you go through, I went through a point where I cared what people thought. I cared about the opinions of others. I wasn't, I didn't believe in myself enough. Okay. And as an entrepreneur, you really get like that sometimes. Or I felt like I didn't have the support um for real and it's like that now but i'm in a different mind space because i know when you get when i get like that i go down you know and i have to continue to encourage myself and continue to encourage myself continue to encourage myself continue continue it's like continue because you're because sometimes an entrepreneur or artist you sometimes you feel like you probably by yourself or don't nobody care ain't nobody even watching this or you you know, you get those thoughts. You're not positive thinking all the time. Right, right, right. Well, <laughs> what changed, though, to give you, because you lay dormant for a long time when it comes to the music. And I mean dormant, um, because you would put little things up, but it would only be little things, you know, not like, I think the last time I personally saw you perform was when I invited you to come perform for the open mic um, with New Era Chicago in 2016, I think it was. It was 2016, I believe. And you came and killed it, okay? But I hadn't seen you perform in so long. And then I hadn't seen you up until now perform since then. So what changed that you gained that confidence to just say fuck it i'm about to do this and i'm about to go hard because right now you going hard in the paint what changed the death of my brother my mm. kid's father having a, his third brain surgery to cancer uh having a mental nervous breakdown where i wanted to kill myself i actually had a knife i actually took pills i actually peed on myself i actually was not in a good place. I think this was October of 2022, 2021, excuse me. Wow. I and music and that. I and I rapped. I got it was number God. I like I took so many pills and I was waiting to die and the alarm came on for me to go pick my daughter up. And I was like, I just woke up. I'ma finish this later. And then I tried to I had a knife and I tried to cut my wrist. And then I just started like urinating on myself. And um, it was just rap. It was number God. Like, I just started rapping. Rap, I wrapped myself in the shower. I was cleaning up. Next thing you know, I dropped my song, Peace of Mind, did a whole video. It was like, I can't stop this up. And I did, you know me, 30 pounds oh, heavier. And this is, the, hold on, hold on, hold on. The dark. So, so hold on. So this dark place, really, really bad. And then I had went through some other personal things. Um. And I was 30 pounds heavier because it's a video. It's all about an image. My, I'm bald. I'm just, <laughs> and I went through yeah. a thing with your hair too. You know, I, I do want you, while we're talking about this, you would have never worn your hair like this before. Um, what? <laughs> you know, right. And <laughs> I remember you sharing when you went through this, why did you, why did you start wearing your hair this short or in this style? Okay, well, I had got diagnosed with alopecia. And so before the pandemic, you know, I was getting my, I had, my hair was down here. Mm -hmm. And then stress, whatever, I got diagnosed with alopecia. And then um, I didn't think nothing of it. As long as I go to the shop, so I get my hair cut. I'm going to the shop every week. I'm going to the shop every Friday for four years straight. I ain't never missed a Friday. Mm. That's 20, 30,000. 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> you spend right. 75 a week. But you know, when you but hold on, hold on. post, go ahead. Yeah, and then the pandemic happened when nobody wasn't getting their hair done. Nobody was getting their hair done. I wasn't getting my hair done when the pandemic, when they, when they said we shut down salons. So my hair is falling out. I'm not getting it done. I'm getting rinses and perm every week to keep it smooth, to keep it. So now it's the real me, the hair falling out, breaking out. I'm doing prostate tests, trying to see if it's dry. I go back to the doctor. You got alopecia. Two things we could do. He said, we could give you steroid shots or you could put this steroid cream. And, and within a year, you'll start to see hair okay what's the side effects he say weight gain depression vaginal vaginal dryness for some hair man you see my hair it's all i got left like, I ain't finna <laughs> nah, cut man. it off man i <laughs> get some wigs Vaginal dryness for some edges that I ain't gonna. So I'm gonna be depressed, fat, and vagina dry for some hell. Man, I'm cool. <laughs> right, depressed, fat, and and vaginal dryness. Yeah, that's not for some the edges. We're looking for it, right? For some edges. But still, but still. Um, so I cut it. Twenty twenty May. Twenty twenty May. Cut it. Right. It was hot. It was hot that weekend. It was May, end of May, Memorial Day weekend. It was hot. I'm not for that. Damn, we are gone, man. Called my barber. Man, come cut this out, man. <laughs> but how uh, did you I, 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 and I still, you I still got my it. shape. I ain't. I wasn't depressed. I still look good, and that thing still walking. It is. So uh, you said no to the cream, no to the injections, and no to the cream. And you took it into you prayed and grind on that thing, right? <laughs> like that was a no brainer for me. He said, and some it couldn't cause severe vaginal dryness, but some edges severe, not even just but severe. <laughs> Those like he just going through the side effects. No, nah, fam, I feel you on that. I feel you on that. You see me. <laughs> and this and this attracted a whole other table. <laughs> but you know, I'm happy that you were able to move into this space so confidently because when you put the post up, when you first cut your hair and you put up a post and you explained about having the alopecia, why you did it, and how you were setting yourself free, you know, I feel like when you went through that process you set yourself free from not just that like from the darkness that you was in because it's like you came out with a whole nother light you know and so maybe it's because that was at the same time that you was going through something and you got over you know you were pulling yourself up out of that darkness i really um i hate to hear that you were that deep into the darkness because i've known you since what I, you know, I'ma just put my age out there, okay? So I'm 43, and, and I you look you. good. Thank you, boo. And I've known you since I was about 19, 18, 19. So, um, you know, to know you that long, I've known you going through all kind of stuff through from the before the marriage, before the kids, through the kids, and everything else. You knew me when I was beating, I was, I was. <laughs> you was beating chicks down, okay? You was beating them down on the block. You was Fighting hit, boys. Okay, right. Beating, bo boys beating up men. <laughs> and so to see your elevation and your growth, it is just beautiful. And to know that you went through something so deep and dark, and yet we didn't know. You know, we did not know. And, and you pulled yourself up out of it. Nothing but God. Because, um, you know, God put that time in for you to take those pills at a time where the alarm would go off to get your daughter wake your ass up and let you know you got these two beautiful girls that, you know what I'm saying, what they going to do without you? What they going to do without you? Their father already is dealing with a health issue, you know, so... And that's another thing, you know, we have to really 
be more supportive of our people when they're going through mental illnesses, um, people going through health issues and people supporting people with health issues. You know, it is a hard battle. And shout out to you, sis, for, you know, pulling through, for pulling through and picking yourself up and finding your way back to music. Because when you do music, you are so happy. You are a light. And that's like a release for you. So I'm glad you brought yourself back to that. Because as I said, you laid doors. You, it's, for a and long it's time. and even with the music, like now, you know, it's like I got I have people in my DM, you gotta rap like this. I had a man, you gotta sound and I have to block all of that out. I I'm gonna rap how I rap, whether people mess with it. It's really for me, I'm really doing it for me because I never took it this far because I gave up before. I gave up. And so I think about did I miss my mark? Did I, am I too old to be even doing this? Why am I even doing this? Like, I can still rap about stuff I've seen, stuff I've been through. I can still rap about, I, I got a song about hair. I wish, I hope NDIRE one day can sing in the song, on the song. Like, I wrote a song about hair. I got a song about, I mean, different stuff. And I just got song, and I just got bars. And I just, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, I'm just rapping for people that just want to hear me. So it's like now I'm in a new space and I got these same, this is an entrepreneur, people, right? Listen to this. So say you have a business, as I had. I'm doing fashion styling since 2017. I didn't. I got Remy Ma following me. I got Fashion Bomb Daily following me. These are, it's a big deal when you're in that lane. Like, for instance, you're doing boss conversation. What if soon he, at, at some point, as you're building these big top people that's doing this as well that you look at and admire what they're doing, start following you, commenting and stuff. But then you go and change to something else. So now I went from fashion, but you rapping, so it's like kind of shocked, like she for real. Oh, she, 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 she for real. So it's like, I don't go, I added a page, but I didn't change my page. You just make those people that follow you love what you're doing. And if they don't, they're going to unfollow you, but it's a big world. So God will send more people. Like I just did a challenge, a Yo Gotti challenge. I had a Brandon Grounder hoodie on. No, did I make it to the feature? No, but guess what? I got, I got more. I got, I got like 400, 500 followers. The between that week span, I sold 12 hoodies just for me rapping with my hoodie on. And then I posted my video, Mark, this is your marketing. I tagged my hoodie, my website. So while I'm rapping, the print and grind and logo thing is popping up at the bottom. So when you hit it, take you straight to the hoodie. So as your entrepreneurs, Every time you post something, make sure it's on your website. Make sure it's something that can connect the person to something else. Like I do videos for each song. I gotta have a some. I feel like con I gotta have content. I might not. I put the video up on YouTube. I might get thirty-two views. That don't mean nothing to me. I can't look at all. I got she got thirty-two views. Yeah, thirty-two views. But I've got a video for a song that's mine. Right, 100% right, mine. right. That's on right. when you type up Mila Styles on IG, on I mean on Apple, Tidal, Deezer, YouTube Music, Amazon, Spotify. My song that I own that's trained, that's 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 affiliated, copywritten, that I wrote. I'm cool. And now I'm, because I'm a writer. So you know what I'm saying? So it's like, don't get caught up in the numbers. Don't get caught up in the likes. None of that. I, I just, I did a walkthrough on my TikTok, Janae. I got 12,000 likes for just walking with my booty. And I'm like, I've been rapping. Nobody cares. They just want to see my ass. Because that thing was singing. 
that thing and, was and, that, and as that, that thing was singing i'm promoting a song that's about it's called pop it but it's actually about you popping it for yourself the verses is about not trying to run up behind a man laying up with a man baby i've got to go i gotta take this fly i'm trying to get this money for me so oh, it's no. about look at how she's shaking i like look like embracing yourself because it was times where in this world today where you feel where you I, you feel pressure to do a little nip tuck mm -hmm. <laughs> you know you feel pressure to you know just do a few different things to yourself right so it's all about embracing the body and and bossing up and having your way and and the first couple lines is um he all in my dm sending heart emojis they don't do nothing for me i don't i don't i don't need a heart emoji i need a bag i let me some money i i can really show you how to get some money boy so it's like most men ain't on that <laughs> but i'm not but I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not, I'm not that woman, you're not going to slide. I'm a boss. So on certain things, as a boss, having that boss mentality, or oh, I listen to like Rick Ross and his book and his, some of his music. And it's like, I'm richer than I ever been. Like just speaking it out, like, you know, uh, to be able to expand what, what, me what if my when my business take off or you ask yourself as entrepreneur those that's listening when your business take off how can what what now it'll benefit you but it'll benefit my kids it'll benefit me taking care of my mom it'll benefit uh me starting my foundation it'll benefit if my business when my business take off it'll i can probably go back to school you know what i'm saying it's other things it's more to it or even my kids send me do music because i they know i gave up and i stopped and they know everything but to, they could see me and say man my mama doing this so they yeah. can have that same motivation because i tell them every day you got to do something with your life whether it's being an entrepreneur it's okay i work a nine to five i'm a whole human human resource manager i got a whole degree knowing how to that's not for everybody but i hear a lot of times a lot of people saying hey, you work an out of time i'm a baby it's called multiple streams and ain't nothing like a paycheck where you know that these numbers are going to line up regardless right and right, that right. funds the dream now wrong with a nine to five that can fund a dream <laughs> nothing wrong with a nine to five that can fund a dream because most because you waiting on another person to fund your dream they might want a, a a signature on the paper but or you know what i'm saying they might want paul for control so, so when you did go back into the music thing so was that this is big it's business also important to you like the business aspect do you make sure all of your stuff it's copywritten. You make sure that your stuff, no one can take it or steal it from you. Um, Everything is, is copywritten. Copywritten.com. Type up the song. I'm affiliated with ASCAP. So on the back end, get publishing. Like, say you want to do a song with me. Hey, Janae, I got a song. I want you to sing on it. I ain't got no money to pay you up front. I get your money on the back end. Sign up with ASCAP. Get your stuff going. And on the back end, if the money, if the song make money and you get your money on us, you know what I'm saying? Like they're also entrepreneurs. Bartering is nothing wrong with bartering. Nothing wrong bartering with bartering. Bartering is when you have your business and then say somebody else is a, a painter. And you say, Well, um, electrical, whatever, or I need somebody to come and do my electrical, and I need somebody to paint, and you cross do business as entrepreneurs, and you can still um support one another you don't have to overcharge another and you can that's how you build connections right 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 uh, i wear a lot of people clothes sometimes some people now you gotta pay me um you gotta pay me now i'm we didn't move past all that because i feel like for me i'm building my brand still but at the same time 
like say you got a juice and you say me like got this juice i'm doing all natural juices or a hair product girl you know i'm gonna wash my hair with your stuff i'm gonna get i'm gonna get cute and drink your juice you know so it's like we can still work together we can cross don't be afraid don't always oh they gotta pay me yeah they gotta pay you but it's also okay to, to get paid as services yeah yeah because services. actually when you think about it i mean if it's something that you need then you got paid properly because if 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 i need a web designer right and and this person needs whatever service i can give well if i was gonna have to pay for the web designing and they say, hey, if you could just do this for me, I got you on your web designing. You have made money because you exactly spend you have that money you have saved the money. <laughs> you, yeah, you've made the money to get whatever it is. You and you're also already that, trying to get the money to get that done. Exactly. And so also with and services. That, exactly. And also with that, when you're cross brand when you're bartering, do it with somebody that loves their brand that cares about their brand, that cares about their name out here, that won't say, well, I'm just doing the services so I can take a little longer. No, act like I paid you. And do it professionally and do it well. That's and right. so, that's right. and that's how you keep those, you know, things. Cause I get services and then somebody may say, you have to be specific now. Because in the past, somebody had given me a service and then they wanted me to style them six times. No. I'm going to style you twice, which is equivalent to what you're doing, this service that you're doing for me. Because this is what I charge for virtual right. styling. Or this is what, through the pandemic, I did virtual styling. Because my brain, I can visualize it just like that. And it's apps, and I was putting that stuff together. Baby, it's two fifty for four looks. And guess what? I made it so convenient. So when I only mess with people that was ready to spend. That's good. That's good. And I and they tapped it, and they went right to Nordstrom's, and the shoe was there. It was very easy because I sent them back a vision board that they can tap. So customers, entrepreneurs. You want to you want to have some type of convenience for them, whatever that business is. If you got a truck business or uh, you only doing online foods, you want to when they look at that picture, they should be able to tab and go to order. Or yeah. I shouldn't have to be searching all through your website. Right, right. It is um, the one click, one click access is very important. And I um I tell a lot of people I was consulting with the guy last week and we were talking about using linktree and i was telling him that he has a website with products and i was telling him the benefit of using linktree is that if i know that i saw a promotion that you did for this shirt say i want i want this shirt i am black excellence but you got 50 shirts on your website. The benefit of using Linktree is when I click on your Linktree, you can actually have a tab that's just for this shirt, for just for certain products. Now it's still gonna take me to your website. So you're still gonna get website traffic. But if I'm a person who don't wanna have to search through 30 doggone t-shirts to get to this, then I wanna click one click and go to this t-shirt and put it in my cart. And so you have to find the easiest ways for the laziest consumer. And I was telling him, you don't market to the proactive consumer. You market to the laziest consumer because the proactive consumer is going to go to your website. They're going to find what they want, this and that. The laziest one, that one click makes a difference between them. Even with posting, it's true. Buying so, your stuff. Yeah, so, so even with posting. It's important to have like easy access as an entrepreneur if you're selling products or services one click items even if you have to rearrange your web page where your one clicks are on the first page whatever your most selling product or service is make it easy for consumers to get to it definitely a good um that's good
And also, these social media apps like Instagram, I use real. I wasn't using reels. I wasn't. I didn't feel like I was confident. Man, I'm on reels. I'm doing. I don't give. I get paid now. When I put a reel up, I get paid from Facebook because they own Instagram, Meta. So I get put your business up on there using all I'm the so voiceovers. Add the tags. When I'm using my Insta story, guess how long it take me to put up stuff? I put them in a draft. I'm going to tell y'all something right now. On IG, you have 30 hashtags that you can, that they'll allow you to use on your page. Right. Uh, one post, right? One post. I take those same hashtags, it's in the notes, copy and paste. Copy. If you go to my page, you're going to see the same stuff. Website, the same color. Fonts are the same. It's Mila styles everywhere. You want to be consistent as possible. So on the posts, I have my 30 hashtags. I put the dots. Ain't nobody reading all that. That's cool. Some people not. But those it's hashtags visual. send traffic. It's not even just visual. Those I'll... hashtags send traffic to your post. Right. And, and... I'm, a, I'm a hashtag searcher. And so for those of you that don't understand the importance of hashtags, so um, when you put a hashtag up, so like everything I put up, I also hashtag false conversation. So for those of you guys who want to understand the importance of it, if you go onto Instagram and you search for the hashtag false conversation, everything I post is going to come up. And it's gonna come Mila up. Style, my name, Mila Style started with Mila Styles. You know how many Mila Styles tag? I got over 2,000, 4,000 because of my me posting myself. So if somebody just click on Mila Styles, that's my name. I created that's my name. You're gonna see everything I got going on. When you put print and gram, you're gonna see everything but, I got but, going on. Okay, I get that. I get that, and that's for Mila. Um, but as I was saying, let me let me get this out. Please. I'm let sorry. Me get that, I'm let me get Calm down. Out. Bring it down. Let bring me, it down. Me, <laughs> bring it down. down. So all of your hashtags are not going to be your own brand. So mm -hmm. another hashtag that I always use is talk boss to me. Right. But I check the hashtag before I start using it. There are other people who use the hashtag. Right. So if, a, if other people are using the hashtag, that means somebody else could be on their post and they could click that hashtag and they could see my post. Exactly. So the importance of these hashtags is when you, when you post the hashtags, the moment you post them, you are going to be at the top of that hashtag search at that moment. So it keeps falling down as more people use the hashtag. But... I just want to give you guys a visual as to why it's so important to use hashtags. So even if you use the hashtag Insta Daily, hashtag Insta Daily, Insta Daily usually has about a hundred thousand hashtags. So you want to be in that mix because there's people who go to that hashtag every day and just search through it. So this is the importance of hashtags because some people don't understand why they should use hashtags. And it's I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop another nugget for you guys. Um, for those of you that use reels, especially those of you who create your videos on TikTok. So Instagram has decided, um, and this was decided I think a year and a half ago or a year ago, maybe two years, maybe. No, it was a, it was about a year ago because. Never mind why I know. So Instagram has decided that if you use a, a reel or a video with the TikTok watermark, your reel or video will go under and it will not be rotated as much or to as many followers as ones without the hashtag because Instagram said they will not promote another platform. So I, I, I shout out to one of my bosses today and I told this specific boss, I said, look, sis, you got to find there are apps to take that watermark off, the TikTok watermark, 
this is a very important nugget for you entrepreneurs who use reels and TikTok and post it on Instagram. Your reels will not get the same views as the ones you use without the watermark. So you have a lot of followers, right? So you may, a person may have 100,000 followers. You can have it, but if you post a reel with a TikTok, with a TikTok watermark, you may only reach a thousand followers because Instagram is intentionally doing that. It is a part of the algorithm now. So I want to drop that nugget to those of you that do do reels and do videos and you start them on TikTok. Find the apps that take the watermark off. If you have to pay for that app for the year or for the month, Pay for it for the year if you can because it's going to be cheaper, but it is the best investment you could do because you want your reels and your videos to get as many followers and views as possible. I don't know if you knew that, Mimi, but I, I know some other people don't, and I wanted to put that out there. Definitely on the marketing side. Yeah. So when it comes to, um, I'm, I'm big up to you with the music and everything you're doing. Where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see Mila Styles in five years? Keeping it going by the grace of God. I see myself uh, definitely doing healthy. Um uh, and I see myself just doing music, doing shows. I see myself with a with some nice with some nice features, some albums, nice album, at least two good albums. I'm working on my EP right now, so I'm gonna have a whole whole thing for that. But in five years from now, just man, I'm, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little older, but I'm gonna be looking good. And... <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're you have two daughters. Um, two pre -teens. Two daughters want to be all out of high school and college. Well, one uh, one is a teen and one is like a pre teen, right? Yeah. How old yeah. is Kaya? I mean, Naya. Kaya is, my youngest is 11, my oldest is 15. Damn, she's 15? Yep, a pre teen and a teen. Now, do either one of your daughters have um, any of your gifts as far as the music or fashion? Uh, I would say both of them got their own little style. Kaya, she in her gothic phase. I can't wait to the end. Uh, <laughs> Naya, she, she, Naya, she's into her 90s. And then when she got to school and she saw she was the only one dressing like the 90s a little bit, she tried to switch it up. So they they got their own little style. Okay. They, I I just let them be, child. Well, I don't know what these kids got going on. They don't iron no more. Y'all ain't ironing y'all pants. No, they don't. They don't. Yeah. So, um, how do you define success? <sighs> Mental health strong. Um, that's one. Health, physical health, and mental health is very important to me for a lot of different reasons as you know so that's success okay. uh, to be able to get those forms and say na to all of them that's success man yes na to all of them girl yes <laughs> um and uh, another part of success for me is finishing not giving up because when in music after you didn't cooked and cleaned and worked a job and went to the gym you gotta put yourself in another mode to focus on your business and sometimes getting into that space is rough it's cloudy cutting off all the distra the distractions mm -hmm. you know i take success differently now it's like one song at a time you know one video at a time like just writing down goals for the month and we already basically this march so this is part of the first quarter 
getting I'm doing another video Friday. I'm song I'm putting out in March. So it's like and I'm just spending my money instead of going out to drinks, buying a purse, you know. I do so your travel. priorities have changed. Yeah. You have so, to switch up what you're doing to make Yeah, so happen. that's for me, success is just changing the priorities and finish and seeing it through. You know, I'm being realistic. I would you know I'm realistic with myself. It's not about looking down or it's just really like I'm realistic. And when I say realistic, I'm saying I'm a probably hip hop underground type of rapper artist, but they still make a bag. So if I can bring in an additional five, three to five racks a weekend performing, doing what I love, that's success. Yeah, it is. What are the qualities of a successful entrepreneur in your opinion? In my opinion, praying and grinding, praying and grinding. Gotta stay doing it. Whoever you pray to, whatever energy, whatever you doing, you gotta have a clear mindset. Also, having that laser focus to where you're not looking for a clap. You're not looking for the motivation of others. Do they feel good? Yeah, but you might. it might be times where ain't nobody talking to you about none of that. And you got to be like, man, I'm on, my, I'm on this. I'm doing you this. I'm on it. Yourself. I'm, I just posted the other day. I'm just over here believing in myself like an MF. Yes. 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 <laughs> if I, if I, if, if I'm going to promote me. I don't give a damn if you're tired of seeing these shirts, these videos. You know how much I spent? You go see them. <laughs> Mute me. Don't follow me. Because I'm promoting. Marketing. Definitely. You know, um, another Success. nugget for you entrepreneurs that, that will watch this. Um, if you have a Facebook business page, as Sus said, you have to always post and I'm trying to really work that thing out too because I get so many platforms and I want to post on all of them. But with Facebook business pages, they have a, a calendar on there, right? And there's a planner on there. You can actually go into your business page on Facebook and have it connected to Instagram and you can set up for the whole month your post. It could be scheduled to go out at a certain time, the picture, the quote, everything. I'm saying this to some of you guys because when you hear somebody say, you got to post all the time, post all the time, post all the time, most of you us don't have time to post all the time. It's very overwhelming. And it's hard to post the motivational shit when you feel like shit, you know? So it's hard to really get into, like she said, get into that space. It's not always easy to get into that space. So you can go into your planner, and you can have it where a post on Facebook. But have and something Instagram. to post, have something to plan, even if it's, hey, uh, appointments open. <laughs> but, no, well, with the planner, it's just your post. So whatever you want, if it's a video, if it's pictures, your quotes, or whatever. But the thing is, you can have something every morning at 8 a.m. And this is what my goal is. So I want people to know that every morning at 8 a.m., they're going to get some motivational from me. Okay, so every afternoon at 4 p.m., there may be another post coming from me. And so that's how, with the consistency, that's how you attract your tribe. Because if it's somebody who's in the dumps, who is going through a breakup, who's depressed, who's gained weight, whatever, they looking for positivity, right? So if they know, like, well, damn. I know every day she posts something. Let me go on up to her website so I can get some motivation. You know, so every, you know, so for those of you that are trying to figure out, and that's not the only platform that does that. There are other platforms, even with Canva. With Canva, you can schedule to have your things posted on these social, um, social media websites. So these are just some little nuggets that I want to give you guys to make this process easier because you do have to post all the time. You have to post all the time. Your business, this guy told me when consulting with him that he paid someone, um, a, a, a marketer, he hired a marketer, right? And 
I asked well, how you know often do they post, and he said, well, they post once every two weeks. I was like, what? What? You pay somebody to post once every two weeks? Me, bro, you could do that yourself. No, if you paying somebody, it should be something up every day, every day. That's so, what I was doing with my yeah. business. I was, and it, it needs to be something up every day if you are paying somebody for that service. And so this is what I told him. Um, I don't want to give away too much, so I'm just gonna say he's selling roses, right? So say he's selling some multicolored roses, and I see his post and I say to myself, man, I would love to have some of those roses. They are so unique. I love them, but I'm broke right now. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got that bread right now, but I would love to buy those. Well, you think I'm going to remember to come back to his post on payday and to buy those roses? No, I'm not. But as an impulsive buyer, most impulsive buyers, when they see the post on payday, they going to buy it. Because they have the money to spend on it. They have the extra money to spend on it. When you don't have the money, you're stressed out about your needs already. But impulsive buyers, that you always want to market to the least. You know, you got people who will plan and say, yeah, okay, hey, I'm going to buy that. Make a note of my phone and this and that. Most people not like that. Most people are very impulsive. So when they see, if you posting every day, then when you catch me on the day I got that bread, I'm going to buy your product. Because I've been seeing it, I've been wanting it. Now I have the extra money to buy it. So that is one of the importance of always posting. You posting your videos and you posting them, girl. Keep going. You posting your videos, the right person is gonna see it on the right day. But had you not been posting every day, they might miss you on that day. You know what I'm saying? That they visit your page or that they are actively bored scrolling through Instagram or whatever. So they are, they're, like you said from the beginning, marketing is very important, very important. And if you Mark. can't do it, pay somebody to do it. But as Sus said, make sure they doing what you paid them to do. Because I wish I would pay somebody and they posting for me every two weeks. What you paying them, $10? Because, nah, fam. Nah, I was, I, in 2013, I was charging 200 a week to post right. Uh, right. five days. Five, I post three times a day, five days. Right. And and that was 2013, 200 a week. And I had four or five clients just off that. Right. Right. Okay. 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 Because the up. entrepreneur is too busy. So I would come into their salons and get videos. I would create content for them. Overdoing it. That's a whole nother. <laughs> right. A whole nother lane. <laughs> A whole nother lane. But no matter what your entrepreneur business is, step back and create that content. Step back and create uh, a business. A, a step back and create content for yourself. If you are an inspiring chef, you don't always got to wait until you have a photo shoot. Start now. Start doing little videos. You know, have somebody, one of your friends or a family member taste that food and get their natural reaction. Keep all those things. Don't wait till you feel like I got to have everything together because you'll never right. start because you're never going to have it all together. Right. Right. And, and so also, we love to see your growth. We like to see somebody's growth. So we'd like to see when you started from the bottom and then now we see you here because then we can say like, damn. Girl, I remember when you had like two French fries in the bowl. I do, yeah, because I do fitness. I forgot purple. to mention I do fitness. <laughs> yeah, you do. So, did. anyway, even with your business and you do want to expand your brand, you know, keep it. I suggest in my marketing mind and what I've learned is keep it all under that same umbrella. So, I got Mila Music, Mila Style Fashion, Mila Style Fitness. So, it's all under that umbrella. Sometimes when you're switching your names and starting other businesses, it's, and it's sometimes you're wondering why it's not connecting. Well, I've been knowing you for Boss Conversations. Now you're telling me you over here doing, oh, yeah, it's, it's Janae Cook. Oh, well, why is one boss, boss Conversations cooking? Or, you know, like keeping that, I'm just using your name for an example, but just keeping that together. Um, because consistency. it's the consistency. 
it's little small tools. You know, if you have your have a clean flyer, have your font two fonts have your three different colors always the same because it takes about five it takes two seconds to create a memory i'm always here or or having that or having a catchy song praying and grand oh i got colors i got new colors i when i had just had black i was cool but when i started i added olive green in the in the wheat color Timberland color, and then I start get the burnt orange. And, but I have a a client test, not crazy, but it's my small business. And in my small business, I don't have an overhead or none of that. I have somebody I pay to print the stuff because I don't have time to print the stuff. But I still make a cool amount to put in my pocket. So, you know, it's being consistent even when you're not motivated sometimes i'm not motivated to go to the gym but i'm consistently going sometimes i'm not motivated to write music but i know i gotta do it because i want to stay in the studio don't get lax you can't get, i can't afford to get lax you can't afford to get lax entrepreneur if you're really trying to do it yeah life happens i lost my whole brother and i couldn't even go to my brother burial because my kids fought my because he didn't know where he was at and then i had to go pick my kids up from school on the same day and then i had to go to the post office sometimes you don't get to process everything as an entrepreneur that also is a mom that also is taking care of people that people also depend on me i don't have the luxury of processing <laughs> hardships <laughs> like oh that just have oh okay well i gotta go drop these hoodies off or i gotta go you know i gotta go live at eight o'clock i know i just got in a car accident at 6 <laughs> 15 but i can't cancel tonight right you know right. it's like you gotta keep going and then when that's done you can do your woo sign but don't just completely stop and if you know entrepreneur what you should be doing to make your business grow i suggest you do it because you're self-sabotaging your business you're self-sabotaging yourself and you're sabotaging your growth and your business if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing because you just want to scroll on instagram because you just want to scroll facebook and that could have been a whole hour that you was online working on your business plan that could have been a whole time where you actually was setting up like janelle was saying setting up content for the week you know so i've been an entrepreneur yeah. is rough it is hard but i believe if this if you got multiple streams of income how many people lost their jobs in 2020 you know how many more entrepreneurs it is i lost my job in 2020 i didn't have a job I lost it. Yeah, I had my hoodies, but they weren't doing as good as they doing now. Everybody got a, everybody is a uh, entrepreneur has got some type of stream. So if your boss do tell you, hey, you got to go today, we laying off, you might not be, I might not be, okay, cool. You know, but I'm going to be okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm be, I just got to go hard on the mother strings. <laughs> right, right. Go. <laughs> so, Definitely a uh, reason for, like she said, multiple streams of income, great reason to be an entrepreneur because you never know when that job is going to um, go away for whatever reason, you know, whether you lose it or you walk away from it, whatever it may be. Now tell the people before we get out of here, because we definitely, we had an hour, 20 minutes right now. So we've been talking, talking. But let the people know again where they can find you, your socials and your website, um, where they can find you. Okay, uh, website, Mila Styles, M-E-L-A-H Styles. I'll put it back in the comments. Uh, my social media, uh, you can follow me on Instagram. You can follow my music, Mila Styles Music on Facebook. It's Mila Styles. Everything is Mila Styles. I'm going to come up. Mila Styles. I'm going to come up. M-E-L-A-H Styles on everything snapchat tiktok 
follow me you can definitely go to all streaming music platforms and download and stream all the music youtube mila styles apple mila styles title spotify pandora everything is m-e-l-a-h styles all right all right all right all right all right mm -hmm. so that's 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 what we're talking about you all so um oh i'm a sweat it's about the go down i got the bag on me right here bust it down oh hey. so y'all can get all her music like she said i think into existence i'm be rich by july what hey okay 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 this is my What's fun song about? She definitely has, like, her music is not no janky-ass music. She in real studios putting together some real music. Thank you for coming and talking to me. I sure appreciate it. This has been a very nugget-filled um, interview. So last question and we out. Do you have any other nuggets or gems you want to drop on the people before we leave? One other thing I want to drop on the people that are entrepreneurs how do i say this just say it, just say it. <laughs> when you are don't think of other people as competition don't look at other body somebody else that may have a business that you are trying to get or inspiring to do and look at what they're doing stay on your own neck focus on yourself tunnel vision you don't see nobody and take care of your business and i promise you that's what i've been doing and you're gonna be happier <laughs> you're not gonna be worrying about because you ain't gotta try to keep up with nobody because you're challenging yourself because last year this time where were you because last year this time baby one didn't have a song out now i got four songs six songs done before out you know right. so again compete with yourself not others and being an entrepreneur because they say is nordstrom's worried about sex they not worried about them because they're doing their thing and they got their clientele and they got their customers and so just continue to build because it's hard build to doing music especially now it's like i'm not as young i got a little stomach i feel i got all these things that can come against me if i allow it to but god if it's if i got i almost got nine thousand followers but if it's 500 can i get 500 at the nine almost nine thousand to invest in the music i'm good right right so don't good always nugget. think about big numbers i got you can have a lot of followers but are they are they engaging I got a nine thousand followers almost, but I only got I got sixty seven that engage. Right, right, that right. That buy into the brand that I know for sure gonna come in and like sixty five. I'm trying to build that into five hundred. Right. That's gonna fly out to see me. You know what I'm saying? So, in your entrepreneurship, whatever that is, don't focus on the numbers. Focus on if you can get. 12 solid strangers, not friends and family. <laughs> 20, 20 solid people. That's a, I'm, I'm showing up. Good nugget. Thank you so much. That's definitely a good nugget. So this has been a good conversation, sis. I'm glad we got it done with no technical difficulties and all that good stuff. I'm so proud of you. You have done your thing. I've watched you like bloom into such a beautiful role. Baby, you used to tell me, uh uh, Mila, don't me, 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 please. I, I just love to see the growth of my people. Um, and to be able to bring you guys all on these lives and us talk about y'all's growth and the thing, you know, how where you guys are right now. It's a blessing. Uh, it's, as we know, a lot of people who we knew
from our childhood, they not here anymore. Okay, so it's a blessing that we are still here 10 toes down and able to, to follow our dreams and pursue our dreams. So all you entrepreneurs, like she said, stay focused, tunnel vision. Um, I feel you on that. I've had, I had somebody inbox me and told me I shouldn't curse on my, um, on my boss conversations. I'm going to need you to mind your business because I'm going to curse if I want to curse. I'm just going to say what I want to say because that's me. And like you said, you can't change you up. Don't switch you up for other people. You stay focused. And when you stay focused, you will attract your tribe. Your tribe will come to you. I ain't for everybody. I understand that. You not for everybody. We understand that. So people going to find, your tribe will find, yeah, I'm the cursing cousin. I need that t-shirt. People will, your tribe will find. We curse you. here. That's the t-shirt. We Please make it. Please make I'll that wear. hoodie so I can wear it, okay? Because we do curse here. And I have toned it down a whole lot for boss conversations because I don't want to have a Maybe you could do smile. a boss conversation at the dark. Maybe. Maybe later. But, you know, I, I just want to be me. I, I, toned, I toned down the curse. And yes. Toned down because let me it. tell you something with that. That's another reason why I stopped doing music. Because I was... I didn't love myself enough. I didn't have the self-esteem because everybody was trying to change me. Then I felt like, oh, maybe if I do Christian rap, because I did that for a minute, yeah, it would be different. It was worse. It, it was worse. Was not the same. It was it worse. Was not the, yeah. yeah. But in this, in this point where I'm at in my life, I'm doing me. <laughs> to the fullest. I got to. Or I'm going to die inside. And like you said, I feel, I do feel free doing my music, doing what I love. I'm not asking for approval. I'm not asking what you think of this. Don't start doing that entrepreneur. Start asking five, six different people what they think of your stuff. Just you do gotta, it. You got a three, you got a three people that you know going to tell you the truth that's going to give you constructive criticism from a different standpoint. Talk to them. Don't be talking to your this these five different people and stop thinking everybody finna come to your stuff, girl. Or oh, man, no, they're not. That don't mean they don't support you. Everybody right. not coming out for everything, but I do need to say this real quick. It's okay to support your people, people. Cause if I if if I if if, if God God be my witness, if that door's open. Your support means something to me. I always respond to everybody who comments, say something. I say thank you. I send hearts like I'm super grateful. You know, so it's okay to support. It's okay to keep reposting your girl. That's your girl. Keep reposting. Repost me. Yeah. But entrepreneur, if nobody reposts you, you better post yourself. <laughs> <laughs> indeed indeed all right y'all so we we gonna wrap it on up on that note that was a good note to leave off up on praying and grinding that's our that's that's what we doing come on sis praying and grinding so again you guys you could check the comments and you could see the website she posted a little bit earlier so it is in the comments once i pull down the live you guys will see it but she posted it again you guys will see where you could get her um, hoodies, t-shirts, tanks, all that good stuff. Again, Mila Styles. You can search it up and Google her, okay? You can Google her. And you're going to find her on every platform as well. You can download or stream her music on every music platform. Every music platform. So if you guys want to hear what type of music... Um, she provides what type of artist she is is she really official do she really know what the fuck she's talking about go on and check her out even if you just stream it to listen to her music because as she said everybody supports she appreciates it so you know you guys reach out if you want to you know do some work with her again don't forget sis style people she's a fashion stylist and sis is on point with the fashion, on point with the fashion. So reach out to her if you want to know about that as well. She can tell you who she has styled, and she has styled some big names 
and has done some big things. So another boss, 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 boss lady that I done brought to you. You guys make sure y'all go follow her and check her out. And thank y'all for tuning in with me. This is a long conversation, but it was a good one. So I thank you, sis. You have a good night. You can get back to your babies. And you know I'll be chiming in with you. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Same energy, work on being better.